Don't lie, but don't tell the whole truth. Take care to make things turn out well. Some people scruple more over pointing things in the right direction than over successfully reaching their goals. The disgrace of failure outweighs the diligence they showed. A winner is never asked for explanations. Don't express your ideas too clearly. Most people think little of what they understand and venerate what they do not. No and yes are words quickly said, but they need a great amount of thought before you utter them. The truth is generally seen, rarely heard. Life is a warfare against the malice of others. Folly consists not in committing folly, but in being incapable of concealing it. All men make mistakes, but the wise conceal the blunders they have made, while fools make them public. Reputation depends more on what is hidden than on what is seen. If you can't be good, be careful. Self-knowledge is the beginning of self-improvement. The greatest service you can render someone else is helping him help himself. Superiority is always detested. The wise does at once what the fool does at last. Every fool stands convinced, and everyone convinced is a fool. The faultier a person's judgment the firmer their convictions. Never lose your self-respect, nor be too familiar with yourself when you are alone. Let your integrity itself be your own standard of rectitude and be more indebted to the severity of your own judgment of yourself than to all external precepts. Desist from unseemly conduct, rather out of respect for your own virtue than for the strictures of external authority. We have more days to live through than pleasures. Be slow in enjoyment, quick at work, for men see work ended with pleasure, pleasure ended with regret. One must pass through the circumference of time before arriving at the center of opportunity. Be first the master of yourself. He that can live alone resembles the brute beast in nothing, the sage in much, and God in everything. Quit while you're ahead. All the best gamblers do. It is better to sleep on things beforehand than lie awake about them afterwards. Put a grain of boldness into everything you do. Do not be held a cheat, even though it is impossible to live today without being one. Let your greatest cunning lie in covering up what looks like cunning. Dreams will get you nowhere, a good kick in the pants will take you a long way. Self-reflection is the school of wisdom. Do not commit yourself to anybody or anything, for that is to be a slave, a slave to every man above all, keep yourself free of commitments and obligations, they are the device of another to get you into his power. Never open the door to a lesser evil, for other and greater ones invariably slink in after it. He that has satisfied his thirst turns his back on the well. Never participate in the secrets of those above you, you think you share the fruit, and you share the stones, the confidence of a prince is not a grant, but a tax. Never do anything when you are in a temper, for you will do everything wrong. At twenty a man is a peacock, at thirty a lion, at forty a camel, at fifty a serpent, at sixty a dog, at seventy an ape, at eighty a nothing at all. Always act as if you were seen. A beautiful woman should break her mirror early. Hear, see, and be silent. A wise man gets more use from his enemies than a fool from his friends. 
Knowing how to keep a friend is more important than gaining a new one. Respect yourself if you would have others respect you. To find one real friend in a lifetime is good fortune, to keep him is a blessing. When a man's knowledge is deep, he speaks well of an enemy. Instead of seeking revenge, he extends unexpected generosity. He turns insult into humor, and astonishes his adversary who finds no reason not to trust him. Silence is the sanctuary of prudence. The wise person would rather see others needing him than thanking him. Keep the extent of your abilities unknown. The wise man does not allow his knowledge and abilities to be sounded to the bottom, if he desires to be honored at all. He allows you to know them but not to comprehend them. No one must know the extent of his abilities, lest he be disappointed. No one ever has an opportunity of fathoming him entirely. For guesses and doubts about the extent of his talents arouse more veneration than accurate knowledge of them, be they ever so great. Without courage, wisdom bears no fruit. A prudent man will think more important what fate has conceded to him, than what it has denied. Know how to use evasion. That is how smart people get out of difficulties. Attempt easy tasks as if they were difficult, and difficult as if they were easy, in the one case that confidence may not fall asleep, in the other that it may not be dismayed. Do not be inaccessible. None is so perfect that he does not need at times the advice of others. He is an incorrigible ass who will never listen to anyone. Even the most surpassing intellect should find a place for friendly counsel. Sovereignty itself must learn to lean. There are some that are incorrigible simply because they are inaccessible, they fall to ruin because none dares to extricate them. The highest should have the door open for friendship, it may prove the gate of help. A friend must be free to advise, and even to upbraid, without feeling embarrassed. The wise are always impatient, for he that increases knowledge increases impatience of folly. To overvalue something is a form of lying. Friendship multiplies the good of life and divides the evil. He that communicates his secret to another makes himself that other's slave. Do not make mistakes about character. Better be cheated in the price than in the quality of goods. When you counsel someone, you should appear to be reminding him of something he had forgotten, not of the light he was unable to see. Never contend with a man who has nothing to lose. Politeness is the chief sign of culture. Don't take the wrong side of an argument just because your opponent has taken the right side. Let the first impulse pass, wait for the second. Know how to play the card of contempt. It is the most politic kind of revenge. For there are many of whom we should have known nothing if their distinguished opponents had taken no notice of them. There is no revenge like oblivion, for it is the entombment of the unworthy in the dust of their own nothingness. Leave your luck while still winning. There are friendships merely for pleasure, some for the exchange of ideas. Rarest are those friends of one's inmost self. Words are feminine, deeds are masculine. Know or listen to those who know. Always leave something to wish for, otherwise, you will be miserable from your very happiness. It is a great deed to leave nothing for tomorrow. Knowledge and courage take turns at greatness. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below.
subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.